What is up guys, welcome into this new video of TechExpress. I'm going to be showing you how to create a meta business account. I'm going to be using a few tools that can be helping me to do this in a very easy, easy way. If you don't know what actually meta is, the business of meta is an actual application that can be helping you to manage all your uh, business using Facebook Messenger and Instagram into just one place. So if you haven't used meta business before and you have an actual business, and you are using Facebook, Instagram, and even Messenger, this one is going to be really, but really, really useful for you. So in order to get started, go into facebook.com and fast forward slash business.tools. So here we have the get started tool, we have the advertised, the learned, and the support. So before we dive in here, if you just wanted to focus into how you can get started, focus into the get started button. If you already have a Facebook page, uh, the ads manager account, you have Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and WhatsApp, and you wanted to get started with some ads, or you wanted to learn how to increase sales, monetize, and reach more customers, then focus into the advertised and into the learned courses. We have three lessons of the actual Facebook in here. And of course, I have meta certification. You just need to have a regular account of Facebook. You don't want to focus into if you have or you don't have a Facebook or Instagram account. You don't have to worry about that. Focus into start now and this one should be taking you into the ads manager or into the actual meta business suit so whether you have an account or not this one is going to be sending you directly on your actual campaigns of your meta business suit so whether you see something like this or like this so of course you need to start with a business account name choose the one that best fits for you enter your contact information enter your first and your last name and of course you want to add a business email once you have successfully done that you're now going to be inside the meta business suit so as you can see i have a facebook page a facebook page is going to be helping me to manage uh let's say all my customers all my posts something more professional into my actual facebook and in order to create an actual facebook page you wanted to go for facebook into a new tab create a page this one is going to be showing you this new hyperlink of facebook so if you are already inside facebook as you can see into the upper side i have my private facebook account so I want to focus into the load part so I can create my new page, my page name, my category, and my bio. So once you create an actual page, you're going to get a custom website, a custom page of Facebook, and you're going to be seeing that inside your meta business suit. So as you can see, we are now on the same page, right? So now what I wanted to do is to click into the upper side. As you can see, I have my business account. My business account should be this one. And inside this business account, I have my Facebook page. If you wanted to add more stuff, for example, Instagram or WhatsApp or whatever, what you want to do is to go and click into this link or hit into your actual settings. I'm going to click here and in here what I want to do is to go into the part that focus into my business assets or the actual account information. So focus into business assets and here as you can see I have a few Facebook page, I have Shopify, I have uh, commerce. So if I wanted to add something more, let's go for example into Instagram account, hit into add asset. And here it's going to be showing you if I wanted to add like a Facebook page, an Instagram account, a WhatsApp account, something about an advertisement, commerce, or even an application of my business. So the process of doing that is actually really simple. You just need to sign into whatever you wanted to and grant the access. Once you have granted the access of that, we are now ready to get started with the actual meta business suit. So in here, as you can see, I do have my actual side where I can manage all my accounts into just one place so let's focus back into our home section now in here you have the create your post create some reels and we have more we can create a story we can go live create some ad post videos and bulk upload more videos so now if i go and focus into the left part of the planner this one should be showing me the monthly stuff the schedule the actual calendar i can see this for today I can see this monthly of all the elements that I have posted so far or I can post uh, from today. 
And if you can see this element that has a little star, this one is a recommendation that are based on our followers were more active on Instagram and Facebook in the last seven days. So this uh, recommendation is gonna be, let's say, specific for yourself. In my case, it appears into Wednesday at 6 p.m. and in Thursday. You might be seeing this into Monday at 2 p.m., Sunday at 1 p.m., depending on your actual followers. If you don't have any followers, you don't have to worry about that. We can just focus into how we can get started here. So if you wanted to use this kind of planner, look into the upper side, it says create, into the upper side. So as you can see, now we can add post to, and here's gonna be showing me all the accounts that I have linked it at the moment. So then later on, I can choose my media, add the video, or I can use a custom template. I have my post details, I can have the privacy settings, I can schedule this post into a specific date, and here I have the preview of how it's gonna be looking my post. So with that being said, now let's focus into content. Into the left part, we have all the content we have posted so far. And as you can see, here is the published post, the schedule, the drugs, expired and expired. And here's going to be showing me uh, if I had monetized this, if I had posted this, how is the distribution, how many min minutes people have viewed my stuff, and all of that. If you wanted to check it out, more information about your content, focus into the left part that says inside inside the inside we can see everything about your actual page into your actual posts into your facebook reach from the last week and all your actual activities so as you can see here we have the overview we have results audience the benchmarking overview content performance and much more i don't want to dive a lot in here because there's actually really really too much to cover so if you have any question once again you can always go into the very first part of the meta business suit here you can check it out more elements to uh, or meta that can be helping us to let's say get started into it and the last thing that i wanted to show you is the actual monetization the monetization is going to be helping you to earn money using the meta business suit so you, what you wanted to do is to check it out what is the main overview of your current monetization product so for example here my page is not eligible for monetization issues if i go into the view page availability i needed to fail uh meet the criteria for example i needed to have a lot of streamings i needed to create a subscription i needed to have a lot of stuff in order to view the actual to actually let's say be available to grow my audience and to gain more followers and needed to have eligible minutes view i needed to have some active videos and much more so with that being said, guys, this is now how we can get started here into the Meta Business Suit, how you can create an actual account. If you wanted to add different accounts, for example, for manage management, if you wanted to create an account, let's say, for example, man management, or you wanted to create something for Ads Manager, everything should be creating into your settings. Inside your settings, you want to just focus into your business account information. Everything should be created in there and into people you can add more than one person in order to get started with just one business account operated with more than one person. Well, so with that being said, guys, we have now reached the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you wanted to check out more elements of how you can manage the meta business suit. Thank you so much for watching the video. And well, with that being said, guys, see you next time.